flag with music on 11 in the parking lot of the Chameleon Room in Oklahoma City because it's almost one o'clock in the morning and the club is closed. I'm here with Lodi Kong. What's going on, guys? Not much. Yeah. Having a good time in Oklahoma City, having some fun. Now you guys just uh, finished the show about an hour ago and you guys opened up for Soulfly. Yeah, it was, it was awesome, man. It was a packed house. Lots of people going crazy, having some good times, getting some drinks in. That's what we're all about, you know, just having some fun. <laughs> now, how'd you guys end up on this tour? As if I don't already know. Uh, well, Gloria had the idea to do it. At first, she was tired of bringing bands and having a hard time with them or, you know, not being able to draw. So she said, you know, fuck it. We're going to bring just the whole family, put us all on one bus and see where it goes. And we did four runs of it in the States and it was fucking awesome every time. Now, you guys told me earlier how you came up with the name, but let's tell the people out there in Internet land how you came up with the name Lodi Kong. When do you guys want to take this one? Our friend's name is uh, Cody Long. So we just change it around. <laughs> <laughs> and notice the kitten on his. This is the most metal t shirt I've seen all that. It and is. it's got a butterfly. <laughs> you know where you get shit like that? Goodwill. Yep. Yeah, you get Goodwill and then you like do an upside down cross or like some red eyes and you make it metal. Five dollars. <laughs> yeah. So you just went thrifting. It's, yeah. it's tour life, man. Living on a budget. You know what I mean? It's like. You don't even have to do laundry, you just throw your clothes away and go get new ones for a nickel. Exactly. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you hit all the Goodwills around every place you go and then you just see what you can find and fucking just have fun, it's whatever, you know? <laughs> so, now, how long have you guys been together as a band? We're going on two years now. Yeah. Two years now? Yeah. Two years from the first time we started jamming to about right now. We started in August of 2011. And you guys have an EP that's available. I know it's available at the shows, but can fans get a hold of that anywhere else? Not really, man. It's pretty exclusive. We did a uh, we did mail orders for a little while, but it was a pain in the ass. So we just told everyone, if you want to get it, come to a show and support us. You know, <laughs> plain and simple. We're a young band, man, and we're just trying to pay our dues. You know, so uh, we don't really have it on Amazon or iTunes yet. We're just gonna work on it and see where it goes from there. Yeah. Hopefully, get an album out soon. But yeah, for right now, all we do is tour and tour. <laughs> that was insight that yeah. just went by us. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Big brother band. Big brother band. Yeah. Now that's uh, that's your older brother. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's And they Richie. played uh, in between uh, you guys the set and uh, Soul Flies. Yep. And uh, now your your other brother is playing d double duty drums mm -hmm. in your band as well yeah. as as, as uh, Soul Flies. So he's probably pretty damn exhausted right now. Oh yeah. But it's the best practice. I mean, to do to do two shows a day, you know, you're you're getting better with every single show. He's just he's gotten better at a yeah. I was really extensive really rate. Oh, yeah. Like he's gotten really good over the past year. This rate monster. Like I don't even know how he does. The doctors tell him not to do two shows a night, but he's just like an animal, dude. It doesn't phase him. He's up there playing World Scum and our music, and dude, he just he kills it all around. And it's awesome. It gives us attention and it gets us to like travel as like they're all family and we're all family it's, it's the coolest thing ever man it's awesome yeah everybody i mean I, I, it's really cool seeing how everybody's connected everybody you yeah, know yeah. is just friends and family i mean this is one of the coolest tour packages yeah, i've seen it's yeah. a real close thing we all grew up together as like friends growing up and stuff and uh <laughs> yeah it was just like we decided to make a band one day i mean fucking we knew that hip hop was in a band and uh we could do something with it, so it's like, fuck yeah, let's jam, let's be in a punk band, dude, fucking why not? Let's have some fun, and it took us here, which is amazing. Dude. So if people want to check out your stuff and, and see what you're up to, where are they going to go? Uh, you can check us out at Facebook, uh, mjuice.28, <laughs> Lodi Kong, search it up. <laughs> that's actually our that's, URL. Yeah, that's, that's that Zion. we got a little sense of humor. Uh, we got to go right down here through the magic of internet editing. Yeah. <laughs> Lodi Kong on Facebook. We got a YouTube video for Monkeys Always Look, Lodi Kong, and a new EP out called No Rules. And uh, we're always on the road, man. Just check us out. Any words for your fans or potential future fans out there? Feed the Kong, baby. <laughs> Feed the calm. Feed the calm. <laughs> Keep yeah. it alive. Keep it turned up to 11. Push me down and build this frown without a sound. It doesn't shine.